this is Seth Braun, and uh, this is a bat right here. And he's not doing too well. I can see that his arm is scraped. You can probably see that right there. That's the first time I swung at him tonight to catch him. And uh, the whole deer deal here with the bat is I have been contending with one or more bats for some time. Now, yeah, he's messed up. He's actually got that bone sticking right out of there. He's not going to be doing too well. This may be it for the bat. But, um, man, I don't know if I've caught this same bat eight times or if it's been a different bat. But I thought I would just post this here about how to catch bats. It's 10 o'clock, Wednesday, August 19th, and I think I've caught about a dozen bats since I moved here to Fairfield. There have been bats in every house that Anna Victoria has lived in since she's moved here. And um, so we have this issue. Bats are getting into the house through some type of opening, probably through some vent getting into the walls and then in between the floors and the roof, uh, floors and the roof of the room. And then they go down to the walls to get into the basement and they come up into the house. So, you know, as you can see, we want our home to be lovely and nice and clean. And so bats are not part of that equation. So what do you do if you have a bat? Well, I've found several ways to catch it. One is to make a very loud noise, like clapping my hands, and often the bat will land on the wall because they sense things through radar. And then once it's on the wall, I just go over there with some kind of um, either gloves on or a towel or some kind of container, contain it, and move it out. Um, I've also thrown a towel over it while it was flying. And that didn't work very well, but luckily it worked once. But recently, um, I've become quite proficient at catching the bats in the house just by kind of uh, getting myself on the martial arts stance and then using this uh, bug catcher from the kids. It's pretty uh, low tech, but it moves through the air pretty quick and um, I've been able to catch it pretty easily the last few times. Now, this time, I'm gonna drive this bat really, really far out of town. And since, it, since I heard it this time, unfortunately, um, it may not do that well. And, you know, I feel for it, but we gotta, we gotta stop this. Last night, you know, three o'clock in the morning, the bat is walking through the ceiling and then the wall right around my bedroom like it hangs out right next to where I sleep and it's just like across the ceiling in the wall and you know I told the bat you gotta go but um, didn't go so I'm gonna take this guy right here which once he was captured in the net, I slid a book underneath. And then from the book, I basically flipped the net over into the, uh, I flipped this Tupperware over top of the net. And then from there, I just slid the, the cover, slid a book over top of the Tupperware, then slid the cover in place of the book. Because uh, bats can squeeze into very small places and they can squeeze out of very small places. And man, there it is. There's the there's the bone sticking out right there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's that red white looking thing. Yeah, right there. And he's looking rough. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling you know I feel kind of kind of bad about that, but there he goes, a little activity. Feeling feeling bad that he's feeling hurt. I can see him in there, suffering. 
But, you know, it's like we got kids and we just can't have the bats flying around the house. It's just, it just doesn't work. So, Seth Braun giving some tips on how to catch a bat and dispose of it somewhat humanely. And if you have any mice flying around your house, uh, remember, if you have a insect catcher, there it's pretty easy. Um, once you get used to the fact that there's a bat flying around, you're probably quicker than the bat, actually. And you can clap very loud. That will get them to land sometimes because they do check their space through sonar, radar. And then I would recommend that once you catch it, you either kill it or you take it far away from your home, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go for a long drive and release it out in the country. And I doubt that it's going to do very well because it looks like it's got a pretty major injury on its wing. Nevertheless, I'm going to do my best. This has been Seth Braun on Seth Braun Reflections. Hoping to help someone who's thinking, how the heck do I get rid of a bat in my house? There you go.